Hello everyone, welcome to Gate Academy. So we we have covered assignment operator in previous lectures. Assignment operator. Sir, what is the task of assignment operator? Sir, it is a binary operator. It is a binary operator. That means it requires two operands. It requires two operands. Binary operator. How it looks like is this. Sir, this is called as L value and this is called as R value. What is the task? Sir, the task of assignment operator is to, is to assign value. Which value? Sir, R value. Assign R value to the variable in L value. Sir, you said variable. Yes. L value must be a variable. L value cannot be a constant. You cannot say something like this. 2 is equal to 3. Are, that means you are changing the math, changing mathematics. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, sir, sir. In this session, I will cover more assignment operator. Basically, shortcut for a combination of operator. Okay. Sir, sir. If I say int x is equal to 10 and x equal to x plus 2. Sir, what is the meaning? See, from first line, sir, somewhere in variable, somewhere in memory, somewhere in memory, a variable x is created with a value 10. Sir, how assignment operator works? Right to left. That means, firstly, first, this expression will be evaluated. Sir, what is the meaning? We are saying, we are saying add 2 to the value of x. Sir, what does that mean? Firstly, 10 plus 2 will be performed. That is 12. And, and after this, after this, this value is assigned to x. That means basically you perform two things. Addition and then assignment. Addition and then assignment. Done, sir. Sir, sir. For the same thing, what we can write is x plus is equal to x plus is equal to 2. What does that mean? What does that mean? Sir, sir, try to understand. x plus is equal to 2. What does that mean, sir? It means, it means x has a value 10. Firstly, firstly, add, firstly, add value 2, try to understand, add, firstly, add value 2, firstly, add 2 to the content of x. What is the value? Sir, if I add 2 to the content of x, what is the result? 12. And then assign this result, then assign back the result to variable x. So, these are the two steps. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. What we are saying? Add. See, add this value. Add this value or add, add, add 2 to the value inside x and after addition, whatever be the result, assign back the result to x. So, that is how it will work. That means, what I am saying is, sir, if I have something like this, x is equal to x plus 2, sir, it is nothing but, can we write it as x plus is equal to 2? Yes, of course. The meaning is same. Sir, that means if I have x is equal to x plus 12, what, what we are doing? Sir, firstly, we will add 12 to the content of x. Firstly, we will add 12 to the content of x and then then after addition, we will assign back the result to x. Sir, how we are represented it? representing it? Sir, x plus is equal to 12. Sir, how things are working? Firstly, we are adding 12 to the content of x or we are adding content of x to 12 and then assign back the result, then assign back the result to x. That means now, sir, if you have something like this, x is equal to x plus i, sir, the equivalent notation is x plus is equal to i. 
so that's how that's how that's how addition can be used with assignment operator so now we have one more assignment operator what is it sir x plus is equal to ie what does that mean x is equal to x plus ie so the new operator is nothing but plus is equal to sir if it is so that means that means sir if it is valid that means this must be valid also int x is equal to 10 and x is equal to x minus 2 sir are we doing the same thing yes of course you are doing something like that sir firstly you are performing an arithmetic operation and then whatever be the result of that arithmetic operation you are assigning that result again back to the same variable that means what i am trying to say sir somewhere in memory we have a variable x we have a value 10 what we are doing sir assignment operator work from right to left that means firstly which operation will be performed this what we are trying to do sir subtract 2 from the content of x what is the result 8 okay and then we are saying assign this value back to x that means sir the equivalent notation for x is equal to x minus 2 is sir x minus is equal to 2 sir which operation is performed first minus then assign what is the meaning of x minus is equal to 2 sir x minus is equal to 2 is nothing but we are saying first subtract 2 from x first subtract 2 subtract 2 from x or you can say it like that way from x subtract 2 and whatever be the result again store it inside x done sir that means sir 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 we get second operator like this x is equal to x minus 12 sir it is as same as x minus is equal to 12 sir x is equal to x minus any integer can i write it as x minus is equal to i yes sir so so what what is the second what is the second operator we get sir x minus is equal to i is as same as x is equal to x minus i and the new operator is minus is equal to that means sir 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 plus minus are arithmetic operators that means if if x plus is equal to i means x is equal to x plus i and x minus is equal to i is equivalent to x is equal to x minus i sir that means is it is it is it is it true that 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 x modulo is equal to i is as same as x is equal to x modulo i and x divide is equal to i is equivalent to x is equal to x divide i and and x multiply is equal to i is equivalent to x is equal to x multiply i yes sir all of them are valid that means what is the first operator we understand plus is equal to what is the second operator minus equal to third operator modulo equal to fourth operator divide is equal to fifth operator multiply is equal to that means assignment operator in combination with all arithmetic operators how many arithmetic operators are there sir there are five arithmetic operators so five shorthand or shortcut formulas are there operators are there done sir 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 if i say y minus 3 or y plus 3 sir can i write it as like this if you write it like this where is y where is y in this expression so always remember how how this is working sir the only variable involved the only variable involved is x you are you are updating x and after updation again assigning x you are making change in the value and after changes you are storing back the result inside the same variable sir sir are there some other operator that works in combination with assignment operator yes sir what are they sir sir there are bitwise operators sir 
सर फाइव बिटवाइज ऑपरेटर्स आर बाइनरी एंड वन ऑफ देम इज यूनरी दैट इज द कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑपरेटर सो दीज फाइव बाइनरी ऑपरेटर्स कैन ऑल्सो वर्क इन कॉम्बिनेशन विद असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर दैट मीन सर सर इफ आई से इंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन सर कैन आई राइट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स बिटवाइज एंड विद टू यस सर सर हाउ इट विल बी परफॉर्म लेट सी वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टेन इन बाइनरी टेन इज नथिंग बट वन जीरो वन जीरो एंड इफ आई कंसिडर इन टीजर इज ऑफ एट बिट्स जस्ट कंसिडर यू कैन कंसिडर इट ऑफ सिक्सटीन बिट्स और थर्टी टू बिट्स दैट डज नॉट मैटर्स टू सर टू इज नथिंग बट वन जीरो वन जीरो सर हाउ बिट वाइज एंडिंग विल बी परफॉर्म बिट बाई बिट करस्पॉन्डिंग बिट्स दैट मीन जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो वन एंड वन वन जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो वन एंड जीरो जीरो ओके सर दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्स बिट वाइज एंडिंग विद टू डन दैट मीन्स अगेन वी हैव अ वैल्यू वी आर वी आर परफॉर्मिंग सम ऑपरेशन विद एन अदर वैल्यू सर वंस वी गेट द रिजल्ट अगेन वट वी आर डूइंग सर अगेन वी आर असाइनिंग बैक द रिजल्ट टू x sir whatever be the result for in this case the result is 2 so basically what we are doing sir firstly we perform this and then whatever be the result we are again assigning back to the same variable that means sir firstly we are performing this operator operation then we are performing this sir is it is it same as addition subtraction yes of course that means can i write shorthand for this sir of course it is as same as x bitwise and is equal to 2 how to interpret it how to interpret it sir 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 perform perform bitwise ending of x with 2 and whatever be the result see perform bitwise ending of x with 2 and whatever be the result store it back again to x done sir that means sir x is equal to x bitwise and with i i is any integer is as same as x bitwise and is equal to i done sir sir if this is okay if this is okay then we have logical or also sir x logical or with 2 int x is equal to 10 sir what we are doing what we are doing see Equal to work from right to left. So first, this will be performed. That means we are saying perform bitwise ordering of x and two. Perform bitwise ordering of x with two. Okay. For example, if it is ten is like this, two is like this. So we need to perform bitwise ordering zero or zero, zero one or one, say one zero one, whatever be the result. So we get the result. what we are doing with this result we are storing back this result to x sir we are again storing whatever be the result to x isn't it same yes sir that means what we are doing sir x is equal to x or 2 is as same as x or 2 x bitwise or 2 that means sir x is equal to x bitwise or with any integer is as same as x bitwise or is equal to i we got a new operator again that means that means sir 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 previously what we have sir sir there are five arithmetic operators 1 2 3 4 5 corresponding to each one we have plus equal to minus equal to multiply equal to Divide is equal to and modulus equal to. What does that mean, sir? X plus is equal to two is as same as x is equal to x plus two. Sir, x minus is equal to two is as same as x is equal to x minus two. Sir, x multiply is equal to two is as same as x is equal to x multiply two. Sir, x divide is equal to two is as same as x is equal to x divide two. Sir, x modulo Is equal to two is as same as x is equal to x modulo two. Provided we are working on integer, see modulo operator. Remember this. 
Done, sir. Done. Okay. Similarly, we have, sir, these are arithmetic operator. Similarly, we have five binary bitwise operator, sir. What is the first one? Bitwise and. That means we have bitwise and is equal to, bitwise or is equal to, bitwise XOR is equal to, bitwise left shift equal to, bitwise right shift equal to. Please don't confuse with less than equal to in mathematics and greater than equal to in mathematics. No, this is not the sign for less than equal to. This is not the sign for greater than equal to. This is the sign for left shift and we have assignment operator. Right shift and we have assignment operator. That means what we are saying, sir, x bitwise and is equal to 2 is as same as x is equal to x bitwise ending with 2. x bitwise or is equal to 2 is as same as x is equal to x bitwise or in 2 x xor is equal to 2 is as same as x is equal to x xor 2. Sir, x left shift is equal to 2 is as same as x is equal to x left shift 2. x right shift operator is equal to 2 is as same as x is equal to x right shift operator 2. From for in place of 2, you can place 3. 3. In place of 2, you can place i. That means, that means, sir, we are saying something like this, x plus is equal to, x plus is equal to i, x minus is equal to i, x multiply is equal to i, x divide is equal to i, x modulo is equal to i. Sir, what does that mean? This means, this is as same as x is equal to x plus i. This is as same as x is equal to x minus i. This is as same as x is equal to x multiply i. This is as same as x is equal to x divide i. This is as same as x is equal to x modulo i. So similarly, we have x bitwise and is equal to i. x bitwise or is equal to i. x bitwise xor is equal to i. x bitwise left shift is equal to i. x bitwise right shift is equal to i. What does that mean? x is equal to x bitwise and with i x is equal to x bitwise or with i x is equal to x xor with i x is equal to x left shift i x is equal to x right shift i so we have 10 more assignment operator we have we have studied equal to operator that is called as assignment operator now we have 10 more operators based upon this assignment operator so, in totality, 11 operators are there. So, that's all for this session. Bye-bye. Take care.